I mentioned that new government study that threw up red flags for anyone who has a credit report. And it doesn't matter whether you have a credit card or a loan or a mortgage, anything like that. If you have one of those, you have a credit report and a credit score that people look at when they decide whether you're credit worthy. Well, experts are saying tens of millions of those reports have mistakes or may. And in today's Take Charge Consumer Protection segment, I wanted to show you how to protect your credit history and also how to fix it if your report is wrong. John Alzheimer is the president of Consumer Education for SmartCredit.com, and it's great to have you here. John, welcome back. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks for having me. This is so important, uh, and it's so easy. First of all, break the news for those who don't know. How easy is it to get a copy of your credit report? Uh, well, it is extremely easy. Um, we all have a right under federal law where we can get one copy of our credit report from any of the credit reporting agencies every 12 months. And depending on what state you live in, you might actually be entitled to additional free copies because of your state law. The legitimate website to claim your federal freebie is annualcreditreport.com. You don't need a credit card because they're not even going to ask for it, but you should claim it at least once every 12 months because if you don't, then you don't know if something's right or if something's wrong. Okay, let me jump in. Annualcreditreport.com. There's lots of others That's out right. there that will charge you money. It's free, folks. So you got to get it, right? Once you get it, how do you know, John, what error to look for? What are the most common? Well, you, you're going to want to go through the credit report with a fine tooth comb doing what I refer to as a credit report diagnostic. And you're going to want to look specifically at the identification section, the trade section, and the trade is kind of a fancy way of saying all of your account information, public records collections and inquiries. Everything I just mentioned has some impact on your ability to get credit. Most of that has an impact on what your credit score is going to be because you're going to want to make sure that when you go through the inventory of information that account information is accurate, balances are correct, if there are any delinquencies that they actually did happen and if you do have public records on your credit report that they actually belong to you. For example, That's bankruptcy one of could be on there, reorganization. Uh, owing money when you lose a job. It could not have been your fault. You still want to correct it and make sure it's up to date. Does the credit reporting agency do that for you? What do you have to do on your part? So that's a very, very good question, and that was probably the most important thing coming out of this FTC study, is that the credit reporting agencies actually don't have to do anything until you tell them that something is wrong. So you could have erroneous information on your credit report right now, and they're under no obligation to correct it, because frankly, they don't know that it's incorrect. So you have to go through the process of identifying what's wrong and then telling them, hey, look, this is wrong and here's why it's wrong and then their obligations kick in under the Fair Credit Reporting Act and they have to perform an investigation and then correct it. In what period of time? They have 30 days to correct it, but that's the bad news. The good news is, is that, look, we're in 2013, and this is a highly automated process, and most credit file disputes are rectified within a couple of weeks. So the more information you send backup-wise, and you got to do all three of the reporting agencies, TransUnion, Equifax, and what's the one I'm missing? Yeah, the last one is Experian. You actually bring up a very good point. A lot of people believe that if you get one of your reports corrected, that it automatically means that the other two are going to get corrected as well. That's absolutely not true. If you have an error on all three of your credit reports, you're going to have to go through this drill three times, one with each of the three credit reporting agencies. And such great information, John. Let me tell folks one sobering statistic in this report. 42 million Americans have errors on their credit report, yet 96% of Americans don't pull their credit report and leave it there and those errors continue to stay unless you do something about it. Great information. So glad to have you here, John. Thank you.